What's up everybody? This is Anthony from rawmodel.com and we're back in the kitchen. We're going to be doing some more food demos now. I've been MIA for a while as far as YouTube is concerned, just doing some travel videos, but now I'm back in the kitchen and we're going to be making some fun stuff. So today we're actually going to be making a sunflower cashew red pep bell red pepper cheese and this is how it is. It's, it's a cup of cashews, a half a cup of sunflower seeds, and then I've got a mix right here. Uh, it's a cup of red bell peppers, this is total now, yellow bell peppers, parsley, not a, about a half a handful, a little cube of red onion, two cloves of garlic, a pinch of sea salt, and a little rosemary. And then we've got two limes right here for our lime juice. So first we're going to squeeze in the lime juice. I believe it's about three tablespoons usually for each lime. And then we're going to add in first our vegetables and then we're going to do the nut puree afterwards. Okay, I've got a pretty small food processor right here. You really don't need that much. I mean, unless you're making massive quantities for friends and family, usually this is enough. And you can always do like mini batches and combine it inside your bowl afterwards. And that's probably what we're going to have to do. So right now, we're going to throw this in the food processor. You're going to want to do it to a pretty fine puree, a little bit of chunks, but nothing, uh, not like a smoothie. do is I like to chop my vegetables up beforehand because it just makes it a lot easier on the food processor. A little bit more. Okay. So now that we have this, we're going to dump in the cashews. And then after that we'll add in the sunflower seeds, probably by themselves because this is a little small. Here we go. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty fine. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to dump this out into the wooden bowl, and then we're going to add in the sunflower seeds, the pureed sunflower seeds after that. So just to make some more space. Back with the blade. I always use an S-blade. I don't use anything else. The S-blade's the best. Okay. Back on. In with the sunflower seeds. You could also add a little olive oil if you wanted to, or some more uh, sea salt, uh, cayenne pepper. This is a pretty free recipe. I mean, it's pretty much up to you. You could even do curry powder or um, any kind of chili powder or something like that. Here we go with the sunflower seeds. And what else I like about a small one is you can kind of pick it up and shake the sides to make it a little bit easier. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to put that in with the original mixture. Just scoop it out with the finger. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. So we've got the two mixtures right here, and then what I would like to do is just kind of mix it in with my hands and get a good thing going. And now what we're going to do is, because we're going to make a sandwich out of this, we're going to throw in sunflower sprouts, and then we're going to mix that all together and then put it inside a Napa cabbage leaf, cabbage leaf for like a sandwich. So here we go with that. We're just going to rip up the sprouts a little bit so they're a little more manageable. These are clover alfalfa sprouts. And again, just give it a good mix. It doesn't have to be pretty because we're just going to put it in a sandwich anyways. And when you're making the sandwich, you can also fill it full of your other, uh, your other favorite items like cucumber, chopped cucumber, black olives, uh, more onions, more bell pepper, mushrooms. Like we've, Lately, we've been doing mushroom sauteed in now I'll show you in olive oil. And those are really nice on a sandwich. 
So we got this right here. This is our cheese mixed with the alfalfa clover sprouts. And now to fill it, we're going to take our Napa cabbage leaf and simply just place it inside. So it's kind of like a, like a boat sort of idea. Maybe a little bit more because we're going to use two. And then complete it with another leaf just like that. And then what you can do is you can slice it in half so it looks a little bit better. Put it on a bed of uh, arugula, a bed of spinach, a little salad dressing on top, and then you've got your sandwich right here. So uh, this was easy. I think this probably took about three minutes, and this is like a really complete meal, and you can make tons of this really quickly. So, and to chop it beforehand probably took about a minute and a half too. So there's lots more to come. I promise I'm not going to like, uh, you know, I got a little lazy there in the kitchen. I've been doing a lot of smoothies and that's always not so fun to watch on video. So lots more to come and be sure to watch. Thanks for checking out the blog. I really appreciate it. And be sure to check out rawmodel.com if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot. All right. Peace. Bye-bye.